The Mets will not pay Carlos Beltran his $3 million salary. If you haven't heard yet, Carlos Beltran is out as manager of the Mets. Now, I know absolutely nothing about any of this. So, like any good investigative reporter, I went to a sports bar to get the lowdown on the Astros cheating scandal. They were using buzzers, supposedly, uh, and drums. Uh, they set up different cameras to their advantages and their dugouts, stuff like that, to steal signs. Cheating is different than gamesmanship. So if the guy's on second base and they're trying to figure out the signs from the catcher and relay it to the hitter, that's different. When you're installing technology that has a monitor in the dugout and then you're relaying that to the hitter, that's taking it a step too far. Actually, I think it's more serious than people think. If you tell the batter a fastball is coming, he's going to get a hit. Or, or the percentage of times he'll hit a fastball will increase greatly if he knows it's going to be a fastball. And there's a reason that you can't do it. Everyone I spoke with agreed that what Beltran and the rest of the Houston Astros did was 100% cheating. But this surprised me. I might have been uh, okay with a suspension and large fines, uh, something to make it clear that this can't this can't be accepted in Major League Baseball. Should he have lost his job with the Mets? I don't think so. I, I think he should have been uh, given the opportunity to prove himself. I think he'll probably manage again. I do, 100%. He's, he's one of the most respected um, baseball people that's willing to manage at this point, believe it or not. What's up next for the Mets? They got to hire a manager. One, one month until spring training, got to get someone. In Saddlebrook, Emily Young, New Jersey News Network.